Hello, Ziva Herd, welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Today, we're heading into day two after a fairly successful day one. It went as well as I could possibly imagine after crash landing on a planet, right? Uh, day one, we're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Alf. See, the onion is following us around. Don't really know what that means. I guess we'll find out. But we're saving the game for right now. Guess I could have done this last episode. I just didn't know if that was a good idea or not. But uh, yeah, let's get started with day two. Exploration day two. Whoa. Ship looks really cool. The interior and stuff, all the blinking lights. Searching for signals. Garden of Hope. And where is that, maybe? I've tracked down Brittany, Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kapai. That would be very, very bad. So we got a couple of things to worry about here. I guess we could even go back to like an earlier day. Interesting. Uh, but for right now, we're gonna do what we're supposed to do, land here at the Garden of Hope. Because everything about this game's aesthetic though is so cool. I really enjoy it. Garden of Hope, where's Brittany? Choose left two. So I guess we're on like a liquid diet, which is a little weird. But I mean, it is like space. They probably have figured all the different technicalities out. Brittany should be around here. Something is flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. I'm running out of sustenance, so I hope I find her before it's too late. So do we start with the Pikmin we have the previous day? It looks like the Onion has followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? Uh, I gotta call them with this. So I can just call the whole gang over. Come on down. So it's like a little Pikmin apartment. I love it. Oh, that's right. The data file I found explained all of this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. Pikminology number two. Press A under the onion to take out or return Pikmin. I'm going to install an application on the cop pad that lets me check the Pikmin status remotely. Whoa, okay, so there's a lot going on here. And there's some like new stuff there right next to that. Pikmin info. Okay. So let's take a look at that now. Go to the cop pad. Uh, we have the Piclopedia, the creatures, uh, total creatures analyzed one, and it was the uh, female shear grub. Cool. And then over this way, we have the Pikmin info. Uh, and this just gives us different information, how many are in our squad, how many are working, how many are idle. Good to keep that information in mind. What hint do we have? Gather up the fragments and rebuild the bridge. Okay, yeah, I see that bridge over there. So we can actually get started working on some other stuff. Um, you're gonna bring that over, that's cool. We need 20 for this. Yeah, we can sort of multitask. Get that one Pikmin over there. Oh wow, what about this little moth? Whoa, 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 it's flying away. Did I just miss my chance to go for that? Oh no, it's coming back, it's coming back. Right? Maybe? Oh yeah, it's over there now. Weird. Yeah, let's go for it. Ooh, hoo, hoo. nice takedown there. Okay, I got these two. <laughs> They're still working on the wall over that way. This is super fascinating. There's like a lot going on at once. And I can see how, you know, this could get really complicated. Yeah, call everybody over. We're now up to 24. And I can, oh, we can get some eggs? Interesting, there's some dew. What is this? Ta-da! A flower boomed on that Pikmin's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I wonder if they develop any new skills with that flower. I'll have to keep a close eye on them. Pikminology number 13. When Pikmins consume nectar, they blossom into flower Pikmin. So I'm guessing I should toss more over there? Send them all into a... Uh... Oh, that didn't quite work for all of them. But don't worry, there's this too. Okay, let's uh, yeah, call everybody over again so that hopefully it'll just toss over the ones that need it. I don't know if it's gonna work that way or not. I can't really choose 
which Pikmin gets tossed. So some of them are bigger, some of them are not. Um, yeah, what is this data file site? Pikminology number six. As Pikmin develop, they get faster. They grow from leaf to bud to flower. Interesting. We'll definitely get one of those over there. While that's happening as well, we can toss some stuff over like this. And then there's this big wall here. It's a giant cinder block. Don't know what we'll end up doing with that, but for right now, Oh, nice, there was a little bit of information, more Pikminology under it. Number 14, once Pikmin are done transporting fragments, they will return to the original location of the fragments. Okay, so forever, like, where are, where did our Pikmin go? Now we can find out. I mean, hopefully, we can just call them over. Very useful, that, for sure. This game is so relaxing, I love that. So what does this one say? Dwarf Bulborb, aim for its back and for victory. Intelligent life, retrieve 15 expiration notes. So we got this guy over here. I don't know how many he's gonna need. I guess 17, wow, that's a lot of Pikmin. Oh no, no, no it doesn't. I, I guess as, as many as I had? Hard to tell. Yeah, this is just 15 here, so we got it. Can I get somebody to pick up the bulb orb? Oh, we need an extra person. There we go, hold on, hold on. Perfect. So it might be worth it turn around real quick and collect everybody who needs collecting. Like we have you over there. And yeah, get all these guys too. <laughs> this is excellent. Uh, and we got charging. Press and release the X to charge with the currently selected Pikmin. Well, I don't need to charge at the moment, but I did see like a little wall there before the giant cinder blocks, so maybe that's something, but. We can get that figured out. There's a bridge over that way. There's a lot going on around here. Um, and also, as far as I understand, charge. Yeah, it doesn't do much. Um, as far as I understand, there's a meter on the top there. You can see there's a sun on the top left. I think that as time goes on, that will um, progress and the day will end. I don't know what happens if the day ends, if that's a bad thing, that's a good thing. I guess we'll find out. Anything to do around here? Cause there's like multiple ways to go. It's a little confusing, but we can maybe, Charge into the glass is not doing much. Oh, we can, I need to throw a specific type of pigment to break this wall. Interesting that he knows that. Uh, and it looks like just about everything over here. Can we go into the water? Whoa, no, the Pikmin, they can't swim. Oh no, water is lethal to Pikmin. I need to blow the whistle with B to call the Pikmin back into land. Pikminology number nine, help panicking Pikmin by using your whistle. Okay, quickly, quickly, everybody come over here, come over here. Don't, no more swimming, no more swimming. Can I do anything with this? I don't think so. Okay, gotta be careful, I don't want poor little Pikmin to start to drown, that wouldn't be good. That is a huge bulb orb. Shh, it's asleep. I think we can sneak up on it. All right, um. Bulb orb number two, attack from behind to gain the advantage. I'm trying to walk quietly, but there's not really a walk quietly. I'm trying to like slowly nudge it, the analog stick. I don't know. There we go. Go for him! Ah! Go out there as many as I can. He's knocking them around. He's sort of scary looking with his like two chicken legs and the and the spiky teeth. Did I did I lose anybody there? I don't think so. So could I? There's a couple of things I can do here. First off, hiding. When when the going gets tough, retreat to a hiding place and wait for an opportunity. So I guess we could have hid in here. Fancy, that's really cool. So we can send up the 10, but I think maybe we'll try 20. We'll see how that works. And there was something like notifying me there. But the more we send over, I think the faster it'll go, or maybe that's a waste, I don't really know. All right, well that should make a ton of Pikmin. We'll go and get those guys in just a moment. I just wanna call over my whole crew. All right, wow, so there's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. See, our field is going to have 41 in total. And we have all 41 in our party. Looking good. So I can't quite go that way, because of the cinder blocks. Oh yeah, I'm going the wrong direction in general. Let's take a look at the map real quick. See, there's some green things on the other side of the lake. I think, well no, that's just the other side of the wall, so we'll get there at some point. Um, for now, we should cross the bridge and see what's on this little island. 
This game is so cool though. I'd love to hear, since I haven't asked you guys yet, what are your thoughts on Pikmin 3? Have you been able to try it out yourself yet? I mean, the Wii U original or this version of the game. So they're bringing that back. What about this? Some high voltage there. Oh no, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Okay, you're fine, you're fine. So that's not gonna work. So let's not worry about it. Okay, so you guys made two more Pikmin for me. Actually, four more. So sometimes the pellets make like a varying amount. Oh, we're up to 45. It will definitely be good to keep tabs on the field number on the bottom right to make sure that I'm not missing out on any Pikmin. So let's charge this wall. They'll all go at it. And that's much quicker than trying to throw each one of them at it individually. And I, I think this is like the only way we can go for right now. As far as I can tell. So let's grab off our friends and keep it moving. Whoa. Oh, there's Brittany. Oh no, Brittany's just lying there. I hope I'm not too late. Pick up Brittany, pick up. Please still be alive. Oh no. Oh, she's fine. <laughs> Elf? Sorry about that, I was just taking a little nap. So you're close by? Why wasn't I moving, you ask? <laughs> well, you know me. I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? All right, so I just want to fill people in. Um, I When that cutscene was happening, my recording cut out and I missed some of the cutscenes, so I just replayed through the level um, and made my wife up to this point. The only thing that's different is one of the Pikmin died uh, when taking on the Bulb Bulb in my replay through that moment. So I, I, of course, cut it out of the video, but if you're curious on why the number was different. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. It's a big strawberry. If this giant thing really is fruit, then we've hit the jackpot. I like to analyze it at the Drake, but how do I get it there? Maybe we can build, build some kind of ramp or something like that. Oh, there is a little bit of information over here. So we can like look around. Red Pikmin number two. Red Pikmin are good fighters. Okay, so let's throw three of them up like that. Brittany is on the other side of this wall. So we can't knock down the wall. So let's just follow these Pikmin back to uh, the Drake then. I, I guess that's sort of the best thing to do right now. It's a little confusing, but you know, we're doing what we can. Cause you know, there was that one cave, I don't know if we're supposed to be going into there. Cause there's a lot still we've yet to see. And we're not even halfway through the stage, so I feel like this level's gonna be much longer. Hmm. I love this taking these moments to soak in how pretty the game is. So it's like, I don't think this this is taking place on Earth, the, uh, the, the planet we're on right now. Definitely doesn't seem like Earth to me, but analyzing. Ooh. Oh, the Drake is sending us a message. So I guess I could have gone off while that was happening. Analyzing, recovery. Definitely a strawberry, goes good with banana in a smoothie. Whoa, that looks tasty too. Just strawberry smoothies really good. Large quantities of picket, pictamin U detected. This is a seed bearing fruit, making cultivation and kapai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. Cool, so we've already found food we can bring back to Kapai to sort of recultivate it. I'll add a fruit file to the cop pad, or we can store the results of our analysis. Cool. So that's it, that filling up right there. So we have all of our different buttons. There's our fruit file. But since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. She is the botanist, after all. Cool. So now we sort of know like everybody's roles, right? Charlie's the captain, I believe. Alf is the engineer, and Brittany's the botanist. Um. See, so yeah, let's get back over there and see what else we can figure out. Because I think I called. Yeah, we have all 46 of our Pikmin out in the field. They're all with us right now, so we should be safe to go into the cave, uh, as safe as we'll ever be, right? So it was saying that Pikmin are good for battling. Red Pikmin are. So I'm guessing that means we should maybe expect a battle in this cave. Whoa. 
What's going on in here? There's these different crystals. What is that thing? Oh, it's another onion. Uh-oh. What is that thing, though? Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna toss stuff out. Hints, hints, hints. Uh, charge won't reach to flying creatures. Lock on with ZR and throw Pikmin with A to defeat them. Look closely now. They seem to have captured something. Oh. Oh, there's purple Pikmin in there. I didn't know there were purple Pikmin. Whoa, wait a minute. Rock Pikmin. Are these creatures Pikmin too? They're giving me a funny look. Huh. Fascinating. They want to break it? They seem to be Pikmin as well. All right, so I'll just do that. I didn't realize we weren't like at a cutscene anymore. So I guess we can use these guys to break, you know, glass type objects. There, that should do the trick. Ugh. It's always so gross and noodly. So, their onion was trapped inside that crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with L and R. Gotcha, selecting Pikmin type. Select the Pikmin of or person you want to throw using L or R. And when I, what do you mean throw a person? Is that gonna happen? When I want to split them up by type, I'll use Y to dismiss the squad. Dismissing the squad. Dismiss your squad, press w w with Y, and the Pikmin will sort themselves into different color groups. Well, that's useful. Ah, go for him, beat him up. Well, what is he doing? Oh, they, okay, we already beat him up. Yesterday's foe is today's food. Wow, nature's unforgiving. Say that again. Let's go ahead and pluck all these new rock Pikmin we just got. Very interesting Pikmin type. I didn't know this was a thing. Rock Pikmin number one. Rock Pikmin are very hard, like rocks. Well, now we know. So we can get all of you and we can also get all the red Pikmin. And I can, yeah, choose it down there, which one. So we got the whole squad with us now. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, and they're gonna bring that back to the onion, that's good. Uh, just keep breaking away at this. There it is. So that had a little bit more info for us. Pikminology number four. New sprouts will be the same color as the Pikmin that retrieved the pellet or creature. Oh, so that's where some strategy can be involved, I suppose. So we'll call you guys over. And there is a couple more pellets over here to get after all. Come on, come on, there we go. So if you guys wanna grab those pellets real quick. No, no, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, no. I don't want you to have that. I want you to have it. That way we can get more rock Pikmin. So definitely a strategy worth keeping in mind. We'll wait for this one last one and then we'll bother to pluck them all. But we do have a hint here. Get more rock Pikmin by harvesting pellet and creatures. Throw rock Pikmin to shatter the crystal. Get more rock Pikmin by harvesting. Okay, I just went that. <laughs> I thought it was more than two. Okay, so while that one's falling off, I can pluck the rest of these. Perfect. Okay, so I think we're all wrapped up for this area. We have all of our Pikmin still, so I'm just gonna leave. I am curious to see what's happening back at the ship, though, because if we can break glass now, we can access multiple different spots, because, you know, there's this here, there's the one wall by the ship. So let's see. First, we'll toss all this over, and that is really starting to crack it right away. And I guess we could even get them to charge it, right? Boom, charge! Oh, that works really well. Watch out for shattered glass, though. That can be dangerous. Oh, here we go, got some little eggs. Oh yeah, this'll help the Pikmin sprout. So I guess we could just charge the whole group over and whoever can drink it, will drink it. That's a much more productive way of doing it, isn't it? There we go. All right, everybody. We got some bricks over here. What is this? They don't seem to know. Yeah, let's throw a couple red Pikmin over. Okay, there must be some other kind of Pikmin that can unscrew screws. I wonder what we got here. Go here. On the cop pads radar, align the cursor with your destination and select go here with A to start moving. There's even a data file about this? Now that I think about it, there was indeed a go here function built into the radar. We should try it out soon. It seems like it'd be helpful if we decide to split into multiple squads. Interesting, I'll have to keep that in mind, but for right now, um, I would like to, oh wow. They're, I don't know what those guys are over there, but they're sort of creepy. So that'll break the egg, and then we're just gonna charge people over. And 
whoever needs it to be sprouted will be able to take some. Alf, I've been waiting. I can't break through this wall. I got you. Don't worry. Actually, just like before. Charge! Come on, come on. Yeah, we see Brittany. Awesome. Brittany. Does this mean we get to play as both Alf and Brittany at the same time? Woo! I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm sick of sleeping outside, and I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with your entourage there? You're just now noticing? What's that you say? They're called Pikmin? They're cute. But we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alfie. Oh, a lemon. Let's work together and nab that huge piece of fruit. It's just crazy how small they are compared to just a fruit. Oh, so we can throw her and then maybe we can throw her some Pikmin. Okay, let's throw her some Pikmin. Awesome! That's interesting, so we can quite literally daisy chain things together. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Press Y and select me if you'd be so kind. Switching leaders. Press Y to open the menu and switch leaders. Split into two squads to manage your workload more efficiently. That sounds really difficult. We'll give it a try. So we can switch over to you and then Okay, not really what I wanted to do. Um, and then just throw them up there. We just needed five of them. We actually had six there, so not too bad. So they're gonna be doing their Pikmin things, carrying the lemon. I guess we should follow them? So, hold on, hints. Shadow the crystal wall. Throw Pikmin to the other shore to look for bridge fragments. There. So there's a couple of things. With her, I guess we should send her back there with them. Um. Now, switch back to Alf, and we can get some other stuff. That is so interesting, I love that. Okay, um, so I think we still need, or maybe it depends on the color of the tablet, I don't really know. So they're gonna go back, they're gonna do their thing. What is going on with these guys now? Pigmentology number five. Pelts achieved by Pikmin of the same color produce more sprouts. So it's good to keep things synchronous. So I think we definitely need rock Pikmin for this while that's happening. Um, Oh my, come on, toss them over, toss them over. Because these guys have crystals on their head, you know? So, it might just be better to do that. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay, I thought our Pikmin were getting taken out there, but no, we're good. So I don't know who needs this exactly. Trying to keep keep up with everything is, is quite difficult. Um. So is that gonna be enough to carry it over? Or oh, they need more? Maybe one more? There they go, well six out of five, but that's fine. What do we got over here? Rock Pikmin number two, break the crystal nodule for a chance to attack. A little too late, I already did it. Um, and then I guess we'll, I think get, get this all the way down to like 10? There, I think that should be enough to get everybody to start delivering stuff. And we do need more Rock Pikmin for this, I guess. Hmm, what's with the little star? Oh, it's another strawberry. Okay. Interesting. So I might have to come back here anyways. Um, what I guess we could do is we could go to the cop pad and then switch over to Brittany, who's just chilling out, waiting for us. The rock Pikmin are still making their way over though, aren't they? I don't see them anywhere around. Oh yeah, that's right. They're not gonna come over here. They're gonna go over to the other onion, which does make things a little bit more complicated. Okay, so, um, Perfect timing now. I can just walk over this way. Because I think that's what's going on at the moment, is all the, the rock Pikmin are gonna deliver the pellet to the rock onion. All right, guys. Let's grab you. And let's also grab our little buddies. So that means we have 82 Pikmin now in total. I think with this, we would be good to go back. Uh, But there might be a better way to do it. It's a little weird right now. I think learning how to multitask this is gonna be a big challenge for me, and this is where I'm gonna get concerned and preemptively say, I might not be very good at this game, but I will certainly give it my best shot. If you're watching this for super skilled Pikmin Pro gameplay, for recovered, cool. Um, you might not find it here, but you'll still find me having fun, so hopefully that's enough. Uh, yeah, we still need to, I'm guessing that the yellow Pikmin take out the yellow doors. That seems like the most obvious possibility. The rest of this bridge, though, isn't complete just yet. What we need to do, I think, is pluck all these Pikmin. And where are the remaining groups of them? I don't know, they're, they're somewhere. I think they might have actually... 
went back over there. For right now, it doesn't matter that. If we switch over to you, we can charge this wall. Excellent. And we can, ooh. The radar is picking up something. What could it be? There's a signal coming from here. It must be the captain. So we have a lot to travel in this level still, my oh my. Let's go there right away. But what do we got over here? Oh, we got some more enemies. Rock Pikmin number three. Rock Pikmin aren't crushed when trampled on. So I guess we should be using Rock Pikmin to fight these guys then? Go for it. Ah! See, they, they don't get crushed when that happens. Keep throwing them, keep throwing them. We got them. Excellent. And then you over here, same deal. Toss a couple over, and then we can switch over to the red Pikmin to actually... No, 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 okay, well, that works. Cool. So once again, just trying to make the most of our time and effort here. Uh, we'll charge with a good, healthy chunk of those Pikmin. Oh, and up here, lock on. One should be good. Yellow Wallywog. It can't jump when it's weighed down with Pikmin. Well, that's good to know. Oh my, so we got these little leaves as well. Oh, is there stuff under them? That was weird, I guess so. Whoa. Let's bring the leaf back. And there's water here, so we won't be able to do much about that. This w wall over here is almost destroyed now. There's a bunch to do. Hmm. Oh, and there's a little bit more information over this way. Red Pikmin number one. Red Pikmin are resistant to fire. Well, that's good to know. Is that guy gonna spit fire over there or something? Usually the hints are pretty context relevant, right? But what's down this way? I don't know. Whoa, it just keeps going. There's so much! This is like a puzzle area. I can't get up there on my own. I think we'll have to come back with Yellow Pikmin then. Huh. All right, I'm going to leave that for now, but maybe these levels are gonna be much longer than anticipated or something, because as you can see, the time is ticking over there. I'm a little concerned. Uh, but maybe for right now, I can collect all that. I was hoping we'd be able to complete the bridge, but I don't see any pieces for it that I haven't already gotten. I think there might be also, there's gotta be Pikmin around I'm missing. <laughs> I don't know where they went, uh, but I can at least pluck these guys. Oh, and there's probably rock Pikmin that we have to go and get. All right, well, as you can see, this can get very complicated. Uh, yeah, I guess we will toss some things over to these eggs, but then for you guys over here. Um, no, 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 no. Come on, I'm trying to, it's not letting me do it. <laughs> He's on fire. What's wrong with the Pikmin? They're panicking. Maybe whistling at them with B will help them calm down. Okay, Pikminology number nine. Help panicking Pikmin by using your whistle. Okay, everybody come back. And then focus on you. Charge! Yeah, get him! Get him! See you, buddy. Excellent. All right then, so now that that's all out of the way, let's charge you guys so that you can get some of this nectar. Whoever needs it, really. Got it, okay. Oh, oh, the onion stopped spitting out seeds. Does that mean I'm maxed out? But the Pikmin inside of the onion still seem to be increasing in numbers. Apparently, once the number of Pikmin in the field reaches 100, any new Pikmin will stay inside the onion. This means that a maximum of 100 Pikmin can be active outside of the onion at any one time. There's a limit to the number of Pikmin on the surface at a time, but more can sprout inside the onion. Interesting. That's good to keep in mind. Uh, for right now, though. Uh, once again, we'll just charge those guys over. And with the rock Pikmin, seeing how it seems like we've gotten quite a lot of red Pikmin, maybe now's a good time to get the rock Pikmin set up a little bit more while well, what's happening. The sun will be setting soon. Any stray Pikmin will undoubtedly face attacks from nocturnal predators. Oh my. But the Pikmin that are close to the onion should be able to make it back on their own. Pikminology number 11. Make sure the Pikmin are in your squad or close to the onion when the sun sets. All others will perish. 
I'd better call back the Pikmin, who aren't in my squad, before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk around everywhere to collect all the Pikmin. So I'll make sure that when you press A, near the SS Drake, a whistle will sound that will call all the Pikmin back to the Onion. Interesting. So we don't have too much time left here. Hurry up, I'm trying. Gather stray Pikmin into your squad before sunset or you'll lose them. So how much time do we have left? So I guess it's telling us about the stray Pikmin. There's a lot going on here, another bridge to complete, but it's all over there. There are materials for constructing a bridge on the opposite shore. If I work together with Brittany, I think I can get that bridge built. To ask Brittany to join the squad, move the cursor over to her and call her by pressing B. I'll do that some other point in time. We got the locking on, move the cursor to your target and press ZR to lock on, thrown on, stop by pressing and holding A. So I'm sort of starting to understand how this works. It's not just that um, you have to complete the level or even that you complete the level within a day. All right then, so can I like return some Pikmin here? Like just return all my buddies? Okay. And I'm hoping that we can find the rest of them before it's too late. I'm a little bit worried about that, uh, but we'll look around because I don't know where they could be. I don't know how much time exactly I have because I do not want to be caught out in the middle of the night, I'm sure. That might not be good. That might be game over or something, who knows? Uh, but let's move over here and see. Okay, yeah, there are a lot of them over here, so we should probably just go, and I, I need to pluck them, I think, so. So we're gonna pluck all these guys and then send them back up into the onion. Oh, look at this, Brittany helps. That's super cool. So return all the Pikmin. But there's still 24 out in the field somewhere. Huh, and I think that's maybe where they were. Oh man, but the day's ending. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. If I really run, I think I'll be okay. And this is where I need to sort of learn how does that work. I want to be faster if we like threw each other. Maybe not. <laughs> are there any Pikmin over here? Yep, there are. Hey guys, come on over. All right, I have 22 out of the 24. So like, what happens if I walk over here? I'm not gonna be able to make it in time. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I don't know if we'll be able to make it. I'm scared. Very confusing. 10, 10 seconds is all I get. No, <laughs> nine, run, run Alf, run. I don't know if we're gonna make it in time. It's gonna be close, seven, <laughs> six, five. No, oh, I might be able to make it. Four, three, this is the most stressful thing I've done. <laughs> Two, one, ah! <laughs> Assemble! Woo! Call Pikmin not in the squad back to closer to the onion. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Woo! Wait, if you press A here. Wait, yeah, call back, call back. Did it work? Did I survive? I don't know. I have no clue. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. So I guess the goal isn't to complete the level, but just to get as much as you can done within one day. I hope I was productive today. I tried my best. So there goes the onion. Oh, I'm so sorry. I couldn't find them, the two little rock. Oh, they're gonna get eaten. No, I'm sorry. The poor things. So there we go. We're going back up and with our two onions as well. We now have the red one and the rock one. Wow, cool. Oh, they're combining into one. Very interesting. The two of them merged into one. I'll have to make note of this fascinating behavior. Pigmentology number three. Different colored onions can fuse into a single onion. Wonder how that's gonna work. We'll have to find out in the next day. Let's analyze the other fruit, too. So we analyzed the strawberry before, but now we have the face wrinkler, <laughs> also known as a lemon. Cool, I love how detailed the models are. It looks like a real lemon. And that's just gonna juice up there. So we got some lemonade now, basically. I mean, I guess, it, it, doesn't lemonade have like extra sugar? And we got the sunseed berry. I love that. So we already know all about this. This will transform to more juice. Ah, oh, nice, we're making like a little mixture. I love that. So now we have more rations to survive. 
So we did see a line as well, but I think we need the yellow Pikmin to get it. I'll ration out the juice. No extra gulps for anyone. Hopefully we can find Charlie soon because that'd be a problem if we can't. This is great. We actually have a little bit of juice buffer. Yeah, I guess so we can last a couple of days. So there is day two complete. Very, very interesting. We're able to unlock the rock Pikmin and get some fruit analyzed as well. So let's see what's going on here. We should get a little wrap up on the day. Back on board, we ran an analysis on the fruit we retrieved and found it suitable for copite consumption. It looks like there's plenty more where that came from. Reuniting with Brittany, finding this fruit, it's still early, but things seem to be taking a turn for the better. Alf. So that's really cool. We were able to find Brittany. She was able to help us out a little bit here. We'll be all ready for day three where hopefully we find Charlie as well. We can get the gang back together and try to find a way to get this food and get off of this planet and go back home. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.